61A, lecture number seven, announcements. The hog project is due tomorrow, but if you complete the whole thing by today, you earn an early submission bonus point. We have quite a few office hours scheduled today and tomorrow. During the daytime, there are office hours in 109 Morgan Hall. I also finally put my office hours on this schedule. In the evening, there are more office hours in Quarry Hall. The daytime office hours can get rather crowded. In the evening, we usually have some extra rooms that we can expand to if we run out of room in 241 Quarry. So if you find the daytime office hours too crowded, you might find that you prefer the evening. We have a form if you're still looking for a partner. Homework two is due on Thursday. It's shorter. I recommend just leaving it until after you finish the hog project, but it's not that short, so make sure you spend some time on it. This Saturday, we'll have an optional gorilla section. What's that? That's a chance for you to converge from wherever you are on campus into a central spot, the basement of Soda Hall, and learn intensely for two hours. It's different than normal sections because it focuses on mastery. You're placed in a small group and you work at your own pace until everybody in the group understands the problem you're working on and then you move on, where the goal is that everybody's mastered the problem before switching to the next one. To make this happen, we'll have lots of tutors available to help you think about the problems and understand their solutions. And then, after two hours, you disperse back to the hills from whence you came and the gorilla section is over. Check out this Piazza post for more information. Midterm one will be next Monday, starting at 8 p.m. We'll actually probably start closer to 8.10, but it's good to get there at 8 p.m. and get settled in your seat. You'll receive a seat assignment on Sunday. We will provide scratch paper and the midterm one study guide. Past exams appear on the resources page, or here is last semester's exam and solution which is gonna be quite similar to what you'll see this semester. The exam covers material through last lecture. Today is more of an extended example, and Friday is a review. If you have a class conflict, please click this link and tell us about it by Friday so that we can figure out how to reschedule you or excuse you from the exam. There will be no lab next week because of the exam, but if you're looking for something else to do, We've started the completely optional Hog Strategy Contest. In this contest, you can design a strategy for the game of Hog, submit it, and we'll play everybody's strategy against everybody else's strategy. You can work in pairs or by yourself, and your score in the contest is the number of other entries that you win against more than half the time. Now, instead of just playing a bunch of games to figure out the win rate between two strategies, we do compute what it would be exactly had those two strategies played against each other forever. So there's no real chance in the hog strategy contest, even though the game of hog is all about chance. We're trying to evaluate whether one strategy wins more than half the time against another. And what do you get for entering this contest? Nothing. For winning the contest, you can get a paltry amount of extra credit points, but this is not a very good way to spend your time if you're looking for points. That's not why you should enter the hog strategy contest. Instead, the real prize is honor and glory. Because every time we post the leaderboard for a semester, we link to all of the past winners, meaning that your name could be part of the Hog Contest website for all time. So if that sounds like fun to you, please participate. I look forward to seeing some of your entries. And if that doesn't sound like fun to you, then don't, but you can still look at the leaderboard and see how people are doing. Right now, always roll six is not winning. Maybe someone should try always roll five.